Hi, Dr. Darren Skagal with Express Chiropractic and Wellness. I want to take a moment in this video to show you this great powder that I make at home. I usually make it about once a month. I make enough to maybe fill up a bowl like this, and then I put it on all kinds of food, which I can go into you in further uh, with you in further detail. Um, and I'll cover a little bit at the end of this video. This mixture is going to be almonds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. It tastes great. It doesn't even have that much of a taste but it's so packed with nutrients. I mean, almonds alone have a massive amount of nutrients, including vitamin E, which is a great antioxidant. They're very low in carbs, uh, have uh, a lot of healthy fats in them, protein, fiber, uh, chia seeds. Chia seeds are packed with fiber and healthy fats and calcium. Getting calcium from a food source is much more beneficial to the body and strengthening bones and giving the body the calcium it needs than getting calcium from supplements. So no matter what anybody tells you, you're trying to get it from a food source and chia seeds are a great source and they even have protein in them as well. Flax seeds, you can get them ground, you can get them whole. This is already ground, so I don't need to grind it so much in the, in the blender, but they're high in uh, omega-3 fatty acids to help decrease cholesterol deposits in blood vessels, uh, can even reduce cancer risk and they're high in fiber and which will reduce hunger. So in summary, <clears throat> mixing almonds with chia seeds with flax seeds in the right way, which I'll go over, uh, will help control blood, uh, blood sugar levels, help uh, improve cholesterol levels, help improve blood pressure, help uh, aid in weight loss. And so in this, uh, when you make this, remember you don't wanna just put stuff in a blender that has nutrients in it and just turn it on. It'll denature the nutrients, which renders them useless in the body because heat and pressure destroy these nutrients. So put the almonds in first because they need the most grinding, if you will. And put this on and just pulse it a little bit. So, okay, so we're done with that. Now we can put in and it depends on, you know, that still has a few chunks in it. Now we're gonna add our flax seed and our chia seed. Again, these are already kind of ground up. They're small, so they don't need a lot. So there we have that beautiful mix of the black and the brown and seeds and nuts and all the good stuff. And I usually do it at a ratio. It's mainly almonds, uh, even though this one I didn't do a great job. It's mostly almonds and then the other uh, maybe 25% and then another uh, chia, 25% um, flax seeds. But it just depends on what you're looking for from a nutrient standpoint, how much you put in each one. Now I'm really just doing this to get it to mix up. And you'll notice what it does. It gives this nice little funnel and it mixes those together and maybe breaks them apart just a little bit. Now we can take this out, dump it into this bowl. And it's beautiful and it kind of clumps up naturally. You can even sometimes, uh, this isn't letting me, but sometimes you can even grab a few of these little clumps out and eat them. I mean, this tastes amazing. So what would we put this on? So you, you make a waffle for your kid. Waffles probably not very healthy. Even if you're getting some of these new high protein waffles, you put a little bit of, you know, maybe unsweetened peanut butter on it. You can put some of this on, maybe a little honey to sweeten it up. And now you know they're getting a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, a lot of uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, you can sprinkle it on cereal. You can put it in oatmeal. You can put it on yogurt because again, the taste is very good and it's very mild. And so it can be introduced into a lot of foods, especially sweet foods, which is what the kids crave. If all else fails, at least you added this to those foods. Okay, as always, if you have questions for us in the office, you can ask and we will try to help you out. But otherwise, I hope that helps you out. Have a great day. Dr. D over and out.